I lit a candle. tripod I couldn't think of another way of doing this without like pulling this open and then I wouldn't be able to see it and me seeing it is a quintessential part of this video. Also ignore the echo. Maybe opening the door will be better. Ignore the echo. Oh it is better. Okay I'm afraid but um I have what many people have right now and I'm calling it quarantine haircut or quarantine hair. Now I don't mind <laughs> it looks so stupid. I don't mind the top half of my quarantine hair. I mind the part that's touching my neck and getting in my ears. So I'm gonna, I got some scissors and I got some music and I, I think I have a comb somewhere. We're just gonna go for it because I can't stand this. Oh, this is a good look. Oh, I like that. Let's chill. I have a comb. This is great news. I also have hair in the back of my head, which I don't particularly wanna cut. So I'm gonna go find a hair tie. I'm real prepared for this. This totally wasn't a spur of the moment idea brought on by watching Josh and Gabby cut their hair and Jenna and Julian cut their hair. I look like an old man. Gotta love that, uh, what do you call it? My roots growing in. That's a nice look. Also, this tiny ponytail on the back of my head is a real nice look. Ah, man. Budget Ray. I don't have a plan. I think I've mentioned this. I'm thinking, just cut it. <laughs> Just make it shorter. I really have no attachment to anything. I just want to keep the top parts long so if I really screw up, I can hide it. Also, I have curly hair, so I get this wet, no one will notice. Also, I haven't showered in a few days, which is why when I comb it, it goes straight down. Okay, well, first part to go is this. Just get it off of me. Ah, I can stop there. <laughs> Oh, it's all over the sink. That's okay, I'll clean it up. I don't know what I expected. Let's get rid of whatever this is because it's not really hanging out with us right now. Sure. <laughs> My parents are coming home tonight and um, I actually don't think they'll, act, they'll care that much. Um, I think they care about my hair just about as much as I care about my hair. Is this hurting anybody? Can you see what I'm doing? Because I can't. This part feels longer. Not anymore, just, you know. Chop it off, make sure you don't get your ear. Cut it off. This is how I got this haircut in the first place. Just wanna point that out. I went, let's just chop it off. And then I went to a professional. And then ever since then, I've kind of been just doing this and hoping for the best. Oh, that part's long, let's chop it off. On a scale of one to quarantine haircut, how bad does it look? Because I can't see, I don't have my glasses on. Ooh, this part's long, let's cut that off. Does it look like someone, a, a toddler, took scissors to their hair? Because if it doesn't, I'll be disappointed. Show this to like people in cosmetology school. Show this to professional hair, uh, hair cutters, hairstylists. I'm glad I moved the rug. If I had clippers, this would be so much easier. Although I can't think of how I would do it on the back of my head. Probably about the same way I'm doing it now though, is just by sort of feeling it. I'm sure it looks atrocious right now, but I'm gonna get my hair wet and comb it like I would normally. And we're gonna see if uh, it works out okay. Oh, it feels so much better now. Oh, there's some wet, there's a longer spot right here. Gotta chop that off. Probably not great with wet hair and scissors, but oh well. my hair 
if it used to be, but now that it's getting longer, I also do this, so. <laughs> I took so much hair off of the top of my head. Ugh. Honestly, it didn't feel like this much, but um, now that it's off, it, it felt like it was that much. I'm gonna throw you away. I'm gonna go get a mirror. Another mirror. Okay, I've got a mirror. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check out what it looks like. You know what? For something I did at home, I'm not mad at this. It's off my neck in a kind of weird way. I got some bald spots, which is fine. I was kind of expecting that considering how I went at it. Oh, there's a spot right there that I want to drop. No more cutting, no more cutting. We cut more, I want to cut it all off. And um, if I'm gonna do that, I'd rather have a professional do that. But as it is, it feels so much better. If anyone knows where I can get some good clippers. Let me know. I've been looking on Amazon and I can't tell which ones are good and which ones aren't and which ones I should get and which ones I should avoid. That being said, stay home, stay safe, and uh, if cutting your hair is what it takes, then go ahead and do it. I'm gonna take a shower. I itch. <laughs>